Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. In today's video, I'm going to be stuffing some of my federal income tax return. So let's go ahead and just get into it. All right, so I did go ahead and file taxes and I have received the federal portion of the return. I'm still waiting on the state portion, but that's okay. So I received 700 and I don't know, something dollars back from federal, which was awesome considering the fact that I don't have any like children or property or anything like that. So I'm always grateful for whatever it is that I receive. Um, so I went ahead and took some of that money and paid off like, debt and then also added additional funds to my savings account, my emergency fund. So I decided to go ahead and put $400 towards my new savings challenges because why not? Bonus money equals bonus savings challenges. So I did um, not make it to the bank because this is kind of like an impromptu video. And by the way, don't forget this bank bag is available in my shop. If you're interested, I have a few left. Um, but I did not, I was not able to make it to the bank because I hadn't even planned on doing this video until later on. And then realized that I'm going to be out of town for <laughs> like the end of this particular week. Today is the fifth that I'm filming and I'm going to be out of town from Thursday to Sunday. So even my regularly scheduled budget video is not going to be able to happen because I don't get paid until Friday. So I won't be able to get those funds until Monday. So that means Monday I'm going to have to like run home, get everything sorted, get everything filmed and put out because I do like to keep Sunday's routine as best as possible. Worst case scenario, it'll come out on Monday. So for this particular week, we are in a worst case scenario situation. And for sure, my upcoming budgeting video for like my actual paycheck will be on Monday. So this will be just like a bonus video. All right. So because like I said, I did not... I, and this, I'm sure this cash is all over the place because it is from the ATM. And then I did pull some money from like my envelopes to make a little bit of change if I could. And let's make sure this is 400 first. <laughs> So we will put this here. And this here. And that one there. All right. So I also took the opportunity today to kind of off camera condense some of these. And I think, I think I have them all pretty... Yeah. Okay. So this one, I did already do this one. I couldn't remember which one I did. That's why I pulled this one out too, but I don't actually need this one until I do my um, regular cash stuffing. So I'm going to just put that one to the side where it goes and we will look at this binder. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see my calculator? How cute is that? I added my name to it. I love it. Anyway, Oh, I didn't mean to put those on the top. I wanted it to be a surprise. All right, so the bills envelope is the one that I like broke all the way down and pretty much took the hundreds and everything that I had out of here just to make change and minimize a lot of the other envelopes. So let's see what we got. Oh, and I did update it. Okay, so Bill should have 121 raw then. <laughs> 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, good. So we'll put that here. And hopefully, this is enough change. 
All right, so like I said, this entire video is just going to be savings challenges. I'm not doing any bill payments or anything like that. That will be taken out of my regular account as per usual. But I have a couple savings challenges that I've been inching, itching, uh, really wanting to try <laughs> or get started. And so one of those is actually a challenge from my shop and it is a new phone fund challenge if you purchase this it will be an eight and a half by 11 size i just went ahead and cut it down so that i could fit it in my binder and so today i think i'm gonna color in let's do three phones and i don't really know how this is gonna work out because obviously i'm not adding anything i'm just pulling some money <laughs> so we'll start with 20 40 60, one, two, three, in the new phone fund. And I should have made an envelope for this, but I didn't even think about it. So, I wanna put this in here. And then, 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3. Hmm. Let's put this. I know it's weird to have an envelope in an envelope, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> All right, because this goes in with my challenges. So I will add that in there, and that is for my phone fund. All right, so that is that one. And I don't know why I keep putting this binder away because I'm going to need it. All right. So, yay. One. And then another challenge that I wanted to get started was the 100 honeys. And this particular challenge is from Two Sister Bees. And so it says, play 100 honeys one of two ways. You can save $1 per jar for 100 saved. Or you can save the amounts shown on each jar for 100 envelope challenge hmm so i think i am going to do because i'm already doing the 50 envelope challenge so i really don't want to start another one is this a highlighter uh, i don't know where all my markers are you guys okay we'll use i have like a million markers i just of course never remember to pull them out so but boom, boom. All right, so we're gonna do, I guess we'll do um, that these are ones. And I'm actually gonna start at the bottom. Two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's 10 of those. So we will put a 10. And then, you know, what if we made these? Let me see what that is, the actual denomination. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus 10 is $55. Okay, so let's do that. 20, 40, 50, and 5. All right, and then I better write myself a note because I won't remember. <laughs> so this is $55. In this row, I did $10. So theoretically, we have $65. So 20, 40, 50, 60, and 5 in the 100 honey. So yay. All right. And then this, um, oh, I didn't stick it together. <laughs> I am so prepared for this, as you can see. Good job, Brandy. Way to be 
prepared for your impromptu video. I've been at home today. It is Sunday. I've been at home today, like literally the entire day. I didn't even go to church. I just needed to get a ton of stuff finished, put back together, like being out of town. You know, when you come back, there's just a lot. There's just, there's just a lot of a lot of a lot. And so I decided to take the day to just get my life together and um, catch up on some filming and some YouTube videos that I haven't watched and just all the things. So I'm happy that I had the opportunity to do that because the real world starts again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this one in here. And then if I just have a bunch of extra money, like some of these will just come back to. Because again, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because I'm just winging it. All right, so we have some money left. I need somewhere else for this to go. All right, let's put this in. All right, so the next challenge I want to do is the mini savings challenge. And this is actually a new challenge that I am going to be offering in my shop. At the time of you seeing this video, I should have it listed, but if not, it will be listed very soon. So it comes in this cute little plastic container and it comes with six mini savings cards and they all have laminated savings cards unless you specify that you would prefer they are not laminated, but they're all in like different um, denominations. So each card would be a different savings amount. And so I'm going to actually, you, you know what? Let's kind of mix them up. Do, 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 do. All right, and I'm gonna put, wait. All right, so we're gonna do this one today. So I need a five, 25, another five, and a 10 to complete this one. And the good thing about the laminated ones is obviously you can just erase them and do it again. Or because of the way I did this, I can technically just draw another line and make an X to show that I did it twice. So this one was worth 20, 30, 35, 40, $45. So then I would just take this 45, fold it in half, pop that on top. Yay, let's do it again. All right, so we have a 10, a 25, another 10, and a five. All right, and so that is 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. All right, and I think this money is going to be used well, obviously the phone one is going to be used for a new cell phone because I would like to get another iPhone next year. Um, so that one's going to be used for that. This one I think is going to be used for travel because I do have another trip that I would like to take. So this will just be a fun way to start preparing for that. So anyway, mini savings challenge will be available in the shop very, very, very soon. So stay on the lookout for that. Then I also want to do this Hello Kitty Challenge, Kitty Challenge, which is so cute. And this comes from Lisa Grateful Me. Um, and it came with an envelope and then it came with these three challenges. So I did go ahead and make, for this particular one, each kitty head is $5.00. For this one, it is $10, and for this one, I did that each one is $20, although I just noticed I had a 10 on there. Oh, well. 
Um, so yeah, I kind of just, you know, made up the denominations, but to make this more exciting, I decided to go ahead and put those denominations in a jar. So there's a five, a 10, a 20, and then one that says 35, which means I would have to color in one of each. So I don't want, uh, I don't want my kitties to be that green color. Uh-oh. I dropped a pin. All right, I don't really want them to be that green color, so we'll use this cream. <laughs> All right, so let's see. 20. Oh, boy. Just coming out the gate swinging. All right, so color in. Oh, that's smearing. Yuck. <sighs> All right, so 20. Uh, let's pull again. I did put the 20 back in. Five. I don't like that that's smearing, but what can you do? It's my computer for you, or my printer. All right, so five. And then, you know, just because, why not? Let's do it again. <laughs> I got a feeling this is, oh no, 20 again. All right, so another 20. No love in the tens. All right, so this challenge now has 20, 40, and 45. And this is another one that, oh, you know what? I think I should do this one for travel because it's giving me very travel beachy kind of vibes. So maybe I'll switch it up and use this one as my travel one and then use the other one for uh, something else. All right, so that was fun. If I have money left, then we'll go back to that. So I'm gonna add that also to my challenges envelope. All right, and then next, I found a shut the box challenge, and this is from Budget, oops, this is from Budget with a Teacher, it's an Etsy shop that I just uh, discovered today when I was looking for a shut the box challenge, because you guys do them and I always wanna do it. So, it says roll two dice, add them together, mark off up to three boxes that give you that sum. Um, then it gives you an example. So if you roll a six and five, that equals 11. So you can mark off a nine and two, or you can mark off five, four and two, and then continue playing until you can no longer play. Add up the boxes left and save that amount. So I'm gonna just play one game, 11. So we'll do nine and two. Seven, uh, four, and three. And I'm only going to do two numbers. I'm not going to try to, ha, <laughs> as soon as I say that. All right, well, there's that. Um, I'm, so I'm done. All right, let's try a next row. We have five, so four and one. Three. I can't do anything. Wow, this game is not being very nice to me, you guys. All right, so one and three. I'm like, are my dice crooked? I don't know if I can just mark off up to, I wonder if I'm doing, I think I'm doing this wrong because I feel like Mm -mm. this ain't gonna work okay we're gonna scratch game one and go to game two we're gonna do this again because if it matches with one number i'm marking it off like this is crazy i think i'm doing this wrong all right so eight <laughs> eleven nine and two five six 
seven, four and three make seven, and eight. Okay, now for real, I'm done. All right, let's try it again. 10 will be nine and one, nine, so seven and two, four, five, 10. Okay, I cannot do a 10. All right, let's try it again. Next row, we have a six. I apologize if this is too loud. Four and two, 11, eight and three, 10, nine and one. Come on, 12 or not. <laughs> All right, then the last row we have five, nine, six, eight and three makes 11, seven. And eight. Okay, so I can't do anything. Whew. All right, so let's see what we have. If we add that up, in this row we have a one and six makes seven. In this row we have three, seven plus three, plus six plus eight, plus five plus seven, plus one plus two plus four. $43, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, and 43 dollars. Goes with shut the box. And the last game I have is called Garbage, and this is also from Budget With a teacher, the sheets actually came together as one and then I just cut it apart and laminated it. So the directions for this say roll the die, cross off, so you just need one, cross off the corresponding number, continue to roll until you roll a number already marked off. Then the game is over. So after that, you add up all the numbers not marked off and save the value. So five, six, one, Oh, all right, so I have to do four, seven, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's try it again. One, five, six, three. All right, so now I have to add six. All right, so this game has five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, so let's see what we have left. 10, 20, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74. So I think what I'm going to do is add more to my phone because I really, really, really want to get a new phone as quickly as possible. Well, not really that quickly. I really don't need it until next year, but... I just, it's, it's a lot of money. Like, <laughs> so let's do 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. We'll just color in two more phones. I hope you guys can see that. All right, I colored in two more phones. And so now... The phone fund All 
All right, now I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 101, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $105 in the phone fund. And then as soon as I finish the sinking funds challenge, which I will be doing in the month of March. So as soon as I finish this one, then I will take this out of here and just put in it put this in as the challenges envelope because this one already obviously has its own envelope. So all right. And then let's go ahead. Can we add anything else to here? Let me see. 5 10 15 20 so we can color in two more rows. Of honey pots. All right, and so that'll make this one $10. So let's add All right, so now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Yay! And um so the plan is anytime I have like extra money that, you know, isn't accounted for, then I will be working on these extra savings challenges um and i know like i kind of made up a money but i probably don't know what i'm gonna do with it <laughs> but i will decide so i know if you have been here then you know that i am working on paying off debt so a lot of my challenges i just do them because they're fun but ultimately they pretty much go to the same place all right and so we do have 12 dollars left uh let's put because this didn't get any love so we'll put 10 here because it didn't get anything i hate that that has like destroyed my marker all right so we'll put 10 in here so now there's 20 40 45 50 55 in the kitty challenges So there's that. And then the other $2, I think I'm going to just go ahead and put in my regular $2 savings challenges because why not? All right, so this is where I typically put all of my rollover money. <laughs> and there really isn't too much left that I can do with $2. So we'll add those two here. And so now there should be eight in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much again for tuning in with me today. I would love to know what you're planning on doing with your uh, federal tax money. If you are receiving some, what are you doing with it? Like, I'm just curious to see. Uh, and let me know what you think about the challenges. And be sure to go check out the shops that I mentioned. I will leave those in the description box below. I do obviously absolutely love to support small business as I have a small small business so I completely understand like what it means to just you know get your hustle on so thank you guys so much for watching again I truly appreciate every single one of you and I hope that you're safe and that you're well and I'll catch you in the next video